Before and After is a show that is filmed before a Zoom live audience. The before videos may seem like they are doctored to make litigants look bad, but I assure you this is real. And we have the after as well. And Jim, your next case? Your Honor, I think from the uh, Greenwood County Jail is uh, Jacob Michaels. Okay. Case is entitled State of Kansas versus Jacob William Michael 21 CR 391. State of Kansas appears by Assistant Butler County Attorney Amber Norris. The defendant, Mr. Michael, appears in person and by court appointed counsel Jim Watts. This matter does regularly come back before the court this date on the warrant to show cause want to show cause by Zoom hearing and announcements to the court, Mr. Watts. Thank you, Your Honor. I've had a chance to speak with Mr. Uh, Michael prior to the hearing. Uh, after speaking with Mr. Michael, he would stipulate that he failed to complete drug and alcohol treatment, um, which is the second allegation of the warrant show cause. Uh, he would tell the court, in fact, that he was in drug and alcohol treatment when he came into custody in the Greenwood County and has been in custody since. So the reason for his failure to complete drug and alcohol treatment at this point is his custody in the Greenwood County Jail. He will not be stipulated to the first allegation nor to anything in the addendum. Thank you, Mr. Watts. And Mr. Michael, Mr. Watts has advised the court you do wish to admit to being in violation of the terms and conditions of your probation as set forth on the record. Is that correct? Yes. And you understand by making this admission, the court could very well revoke your probation and order you to serve the balance of your sentence. Yes, sir. Have you had adequate and sufficient opportunity to consult with Mr. Watts prior to making this admission here today? Yes, sir. Mr. Michael, the court does find that you are knowingly and voluntarily admitting to the probation violation and the court does accept the same. Recommendations for disposition, Ms. Norris? Your Honor, actually, um... Our recommendation um, is, is going to be that he be revoked outright, um, but I would say that um, state would be requesting a continuance uh, so I can have uh, the Greenwood County Jail present. Uh, we can play the video of, um, and also play the video from our court or from the Greenwood County Courthouse uh, where the defendant's under the influence uh, in court uh, and that uh, Ms. Uh, Wheeler, who is his supervising officer, can be here to testify about how he did not uh, tell her he had law enforcement contact, uh, etc. So um, I actually um, would request, respectfully request a continuance uh, so we can gather those individuals to be present to testify uh, because based on um, Mr. Michael's behavior uh, as of late uh, and his previous dip, we are seeking out and out revocation. All right. Thank you, Ms. Oh. Norris. All right. We're going on the record now, sir. Are you awake? Yes, ma'am. Sure you understand what's going on, where you are? Yes, Judge. Right. We are on the record in 2023. CR 80 and 2023 CR 96, both captioned County Attorney Jill Joette, Mr. Michael, about these charges or their possible penalties so I could help you with today. Uh, uh, no, ma'am, other than uh, the, the two last ones you said are new, I don't think those ones until today. Whatever, I mean, you don't mean anything to the other and I didn't understand that. Well, no, ma'am. 
Mr. Michael, are you on any uh, drugs today or alcohol? No, ma'am. Well, I'm sitting on the edge of bed and I can sit up a little bit. You're still what? I'm sitting on the edge of bed. On the edge of the bed, I can sit up a little bit. Okay, well, I'm just concerned about your slurred uh, speech and your jerky movements there. Maybe you're under the influence of something. Yeah. I'll make sure you understand what you're going, what you're doing today and what's being yeah. said. Yeah, I knew a lot today. Okay, are the officers still with you? I know, they came as hard as I mean, but they, they actually, I woke like, I did fall asleep, but I woke up before they came in here and put me out of hurt. All right, we're going to go on uh, 20, in 2023 20, CR 96. The court. Well, uh, well Judge, if, if I may, Mr. Mr. Watts. I would note that he's not a, he's not uh, accused with refuse with declining to inform his probation officer of law enforcement contact. He's accused of failing to obey federal, state, and local laws. Now, the allegation is not that he declined to make contact. The allegation is he failed to obey the laws. Uh, there are pending cases in Greenwood County, none of which at this point have been adjudicated. And you're uh, not, not going to stipulate to uh, violations of the law that have not at this point been adjudicated. Jim, look at the addendum that Sarah filed May 31st. I have the addendum that she filed May 31st it's in front of me. specifically says, Mr. Michael failed to inform this officer of law enforcement contact for cases, blah, 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 blah. Please consider his failure to report his law enforcement contact as an additional probation violation and also illegal use of drugs. Also, a new violation. Yep. Uh, so uh, that's that's why I'm requesting the continuance uh, because uh, Miss uh, Wheeler would be the one that would need to testify to that, as the, yet the court could see Mr. Keene is present um, on her behalf today. I told her I'm nothing else to add, Your Honor. Okay, thank you, Mr. Watts. Um, court does grant motion for continuance for disposition of Mr. Michael's case. Chris, what is our next warrant to show God us today? It'll be June 30th at 2.30, Judge. And the matter is set over to June 30, 2023 at 2.30. That is a Friday, June 30, 2023 at 2.30. And anything further to come before the court, Ms. Norris? Uh, no, Your Honor, that, that, but to confirm that's June 30. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And Mr. Watts. Thank you, Your Honor. Nothing else. There being nothing further to come before the court, court is in recess. and then some like weird guy was like stumbling towards me and then he just stops and just stares at me I was like uh uh yeah. thank you all right thank you all right I've got two files in front of me may I call them together Okay. All right. <laughs> Mr. Mathis, you have the right to be represented by counsel with respect to these bond proceedings. All right. I, I, Are you say I I plead guilty. Oh God. Mr. Mathis, please. You have the right to Mr. Mathis. Mr. Mathis. You have the right to remain silent. You're being recorded. Anything you say could be used against you in the future, right? You have the right to have an attorney represent you. All right, we're going to go. All right. Okay, all right. Given that information, given the assaultive nature of the charges in front of me, I do find there to be a danger to the community. 
I am going to set a bond in this case. Uh, in both cases, bond will be set in the amount of $500,000 cash, no surety. Next court date will be on the uh, case in front of Judge King involving aggravated stalking, June 2nd for probable cause conference, June 8th for preliminary examination, both in front of Judge King, no contact with complainant. Other cases will be set in the same way, $500,000 cash, no surety. Someone will need to order a competency evaluation at the next hearing. Thank you. That one in front of Judge Bryan, July 24th, no contact with the complainant, and you cannot purchase or possess any firearms or other dangerous weapons. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. Are we done with Mr. Mathis? Um, no, we haven't done Mr. Mathis yet. Okay. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. Ms. Richards, are you ready on Mathis? I am, Judge. Oh. <laughs> Calling case number 2305626801. People of the state of Michigan versus Michael Matthews. Defendant Charles Vince. Count one, stalking Appellant. Appearances for the record, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Shelly Drain for the people. Key number 60249. Good morning, Your Honor. Neighborhood Defender Service of Detroit by Nancy Richards. P68850. Appearing on behalf of Mr. Mathis, who's present via Zoom at the Wayne County Jail. Tell me your name, Mr. Mathis. My name is Michael Matthew. What's the question, Ms. Richards? Um, Your Honor, uh, today is PCC. I've received paper discovery. It does appear that there should be some digital discovery, um, like ring camera videos at the bare, bare minimum, which I haven't received. So I would ask for that. Um, at this point, I would ask for a preliminary examination. I do need to see Mr. Mathis at the jail to have a more in-depth conversation with him. Um, but at this point, I would ask for a preliminary examination. Uh, June 9th at 10 30. Let me just take a look at my schedule. Uh, Your Honor, I have a motion hearing that's probably going to be lengthy at Frank Murphy that day. What's the name? A whole day? Um, well, it starts at nine, so I could I could do the afternoon most likely. What about eleven or eleven thirty? Or even uh, twelve? I think twelve would probably be a safe bet. June ninth at twelve o'clock. Um, we continue. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Mathis did ask me to address bond. It is quite a high bond, 500000 cash, I believe. Um, if the court would consider uh, a bond reduction argument, I can tell you a little bit about Mr. Mathis. Um, I ask if the court is willing to consider that at this time, ask for a DSU report. Okay. Um, Your Honor, Mr. Mathis indicates to me that he is a college graduate. He had um, two semesters of law school. He is an army veteran. Um, he is living at Lafayette Towers. Um, he has a signed lease there. Um, he would return to court. Um, I would ask if the court would consider a reduction in bond with a tether if the court is concerned at all about his whereabouts. What law school? Southern University Law Center. Where? Southern University Law Center in Baton Rouge. Freddie Pitcher was the chancellor. Junior. Sonda Stone is my godmother of, in uh, Shreveport. I don't know who any of those people are. Jesse Stone, first, first uh, Supreme Court Justice of Louisiana of African American descent. Are you okay, sir? You seem to be a little jittery. Just a little scared about this whole process. I don't feel like I've done any any crime, sir. That's all. I just want to be able to go home. That's all. Just just scared. That's all. You know, I got I got anxiety 
uh, disability as well because it's with the VA. I promise I just stay at home and, and just go to the grocery store up the street where Jacob owns. Uh, Your Honor, um, at this time I would object to any reduction. Um, I will indicate the uh, charge for this is aggravated stalking. Um, and this deals with uh, allegations back from last year um, in <clears throat> October. However, uh, the complainant uh, actually came to the prosecutor's office to find out um, what she could do to get this case going because she said that uh, the defendant, Mr. Mathis, is still continuing to threaten her on social media and she is very afraid. And she indicated that her fear is, is based on what he could do because he does have mental health issues. So for that reason, Your Honor, I'm, I'm asking for no reduction, um, but a DSU report. Yes, sir. Am I able to say anything, sir? Go ahead. I bought my house because I love my wife. Mr. Mathis. And, and I never, I never, oh, I was just trying to say that I don't even have the right through the Brady Act to have a weapon. And so I talk to my doctor every appointment about my feelings for who Dr. Kabowski was with the VA. I do not seek to do any harm to my wife as she is the mother of my child. I married her at St. John the Baptist under Matthew Lorraine. And when I went to talk to a lawyer on Essen Lane named Matthew at the law firm, the secretary's name was Ozan and I have family called Ozan and Opelousas because Daniel Angelique is my son's godmother through baptism at St. John the Baptist in Addis, Louisiana. I mean, Brule, Louisiana. I'm not a bad person, so help me God. And I please ask you to consider reducing my bond so I can just go back home, wear the tether, and stay at home. I promise. I don't know anything about this case or this defendant. I am inclined to refer to pretrial services for bond recommendations. Find out a little bit about what's going on here and about the defense. So I'll refer to pre-trial services and trust bonds if it's necessary for June 9th. Thank you, Your Honor. So for right now, bonds will be continued. We can revisit it again, sir. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I said bond is going to be continued for now, but we can revisit it again on June 9th once I get the report back in. I hear testimony, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. God bless. Ms. Richards? Yes. Uh, God bless. God bless you, too. In perpetual. Please, sir. Thank you. 